welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. My name is Mackenzie, and in today's video, we are going to practice adding and subtracting, along with practice on measurement skills. Specifically, we are going to use subtraction and addition to solve word problems. When we solve word problems, we must look at the unit of measurements. So what is a unit? This is how something is measured and it is the amount of something. For instance, we measure things in pounds, feet, inches, dollars, cents, and more. We are going to do this today by doing a robot activity. First, we are gonna create our own robot by measuring out different sizes of pieces. Then, we are going to answer some word problems about our robot. So let's get to it. For this activity, you're going to need different colored construction paper. I have four different colors, but you can use all the same color if you'd like. You are also gonna need a large white sheet of paper to glue your robot on at the end, some glue, scissors, a pen for writing, markers to decorate your robot, a pencil to write your answers at the end, and lastly, a ruler. Here I have the sheet with some measurements for our robot. We are going to create a head that is three inches tall and three inches wide, a body that is five inches tall and four inches wide, legs that are six inches tall and one inch wide, an arm that is five inches tall and one inch wide. We're gonna use this for our measurements. Take out a sheet of construction paper. We are first going to create the body. It is five inches tall and four inches wide. Then take out your ruler. First, let's do the height. It says that it is five inches tall. I'm going to lay this right here and mark it at five inches. Now we need to mark four inches wide. Now we will connect these dots. After you have it marked, go ahead and cut it out. Make sure to ask an adult for help and use the scissors safely. Here is the body. Set it to the side for later. Now we are going to create the head. It is three inches tall and three inches wide. Let's use our ruler. We are going to mark three inches across for the width. Now we are going to draw another dot for three inches tall and connect these. Again, we are going to cut out the head, making sure to be careful and asking an adult for help. Set this aside with the body. We are also going to use this leftovers to create a small little square for the neck. It doesn't matter how big it is, you can create it however you'd like. Something like this. Next, we are gonna create the legs. It says to do six inches tall and one inch wide. We're gonna put it at the end of the paper and mark at six inches. Now we are gonna use the ruler to do one inch wide. Now we're gonna connect these two marks and also, Draw a line to the very start of the paper. Next, go ahead and cut this out. Now this is one long sheet. To give us two legs, we are going to cut it in half. Like this. Set these aside with the rest of your pieces. Lastly, we are going to create our arms. The sheet says that the arms are five inches tall and one inch wide. So let's take our ruler and mark it five inches. So we know this length is how tall it's gonna be. Now let's create the width. We're gonna turn it this way and mark at one inch wide. Now we're gonna connect these two marks and connect it to the top. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here to create our second arm. Now let's cut these arms out. I'm going to put our measurement sheet to the side as well as we have created all of our pieces. Now, take all of the pieces you've created and pull them out. Then take your white sheet of paper 
and your glue. The first thing I am going to glue on here is my head and the neck. Then I am going to glue the neck. Now I am going to put the arms and I'm going to do them first so that they come out from underneath the body. I'm going to do the same thing with the legs. Lastly, we are going to put the body on like this. Now, go ahead and pause the video and decorate your robot. Give it a face, draw some other shapes on it, and color it however you'd like. My robot looks like this, but your robot can look like however you'd like. Now, we are going to answer some questions about our robot. Go ahead and set your robot to the side. I have some prepared word problems here. The first word problem says, the robot used to be one and a half feet tall, but after it got new parts, it grew three more feet. How tall is the robot now? Well, we know that we have to add because it says it grew more. So it's three more than 1.5. So to solve this problem, we are going to do 1.5 plus 3.0. 5 plus 0 is 5. And 3 plus 1 is 4. So the answer is 4.5. But we also need to write the unit, which is feet. It is four and a half feet tall now. The next question says, the iron for the robot parts used to cost $5.45 per sheet, but there is currently a $2 off discount. How much does the iron cost per sheet now? We know that this is a subtraction problem, because it's two dollars off. So it's going to be 5.45 minus 2.0. So let's do 5.45 subtract two dollars and let's solve. Five minus zero is five. Four minus zero is four. Now we have to bring down our decimal point and five minus two is three. So the answer is 3.45. But what is the units? Yes, this is money. So it's $3.45 per sheet. The next question about our robot says, the robot's arms used to be five inches long, but they have grown one inch. How long are they now? Is this a subtraction or addition problem? Yes, it's addition because they have grown one more inch. So we have, it used to be five inches, but now it has an additional inch. So we are going to do five inches plus one inch. And five plus one is six. So the arms are six inches now. And the inches is the unit. Our last question says, the robot used to weigh 84 pounds, but it now weighs 75 pounds. How much did the robot lose? This is a tricky one, but we know that it's a subtraction problem because we have to determine how much the robot lost. So we are going to do the bigger number, 84 pounds, minus the smaller number, 75 pounds. We can't subtract five from four, so we are going to borrow from this side. 14 minus five is nine, and seven minus seven is zero, which means our answer is nine pounds. The robot lost nine pounds, which is how it went from 84 pounds to 75 pounds. And just like that, we have learned how to solve word problems that use different units. Thank you for learning with us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. 
Please like and subscribe to our channel and we will be back with more fun videos.